Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and today I'm going to show you how you can make a custom jog command using uControl in the Avid Artist Series controller with Pro Tools. I'm using Pro Tools 11 on a PC, but this will be pretty much the same on a Mac because we're just going to use Pro Tools key commands. So why would you want to do this? The reason for this is that if uh, a lot of folks will contact me and bring this up, they'll say, well, if I engage jog on the artist transport and I turn the jog wheel, it scrubs and it sounds like this. And the issue is that then playback will not start from the spot where you stopped jogging. So that's not really desirable to most folks. So what you want to do in order to get around this is you want to make a custom jog key command. And this is pretty easy to do in uControl, so let's go over it real quickly. I'm going to open up uControl here on my system. I've already set it up to work directly with Pro Tools, of course. I'm going to navigate to the Soft Keys tab. Under the Section pull down, I'm going to select, first of all, TU Wheel. Now under the Wheel Setup, I'm going to double click on Jog. Now I'm going to add a new custom jog command. I'm going to click the add button and just type jog. And I'll say OK. Now I need to tell this new command, this custom command, what I want the wheel to do when I turn it right and what I want the wheel to do when I turn it left. So first of all, I'm going to start with turning jog wheel right, which is the pull down here. Select from the command pull down key. And in the key entry dialog, I'm going to first click the shift button, and then I'm going to type on my keyboard the greater than symbol. Now I'm going to repeat that for turn jog wheel left. Command, add, key, shift, and now the lesser than. So what this will do, if you're familiar with Pro Tools, is this means that if this is as if on my keyboard I were to be holding down the shift key plus the greater than or the less than symbol, which would let me just simply glide back and forth as if I were rewinding and fast forwarding, but doing it with my keyboard. But what I want to do is do this with the jog wheel on the artist transport. So I've set that special key command up now, and I need to chain it to a soft key on my hardware in order to make it work. So I'm going to click again the section and select TU soft keys. I'm going to double click on jog. I'm going to remove the current jog command. Just click it and delete it. I'm going to click command and add and select wheel. Now in the empty wheel selection box, I'm going to click and select jog next to the icon that looks like the artist transport. In the function pull down, I'm going to scroll down to custom and select jog. And you may want to name this a little, a little more, you know, something that you can find a little more readily. Um, but jog is going to be my custom command. So you might want to call it something like custom jog if you're doing this at home, something along those lines. Now I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to jump back into Pro Tools. And if I engage jog on my hardware, if I turn my jog wheel, which I'm doing right now, you can see rather than scrubbing through my timeline, I'm moving my playhead back and forth. And now the only kicker here is that when I stop and let go of the wheel, which I've done, you can see it's as if I'm still fast forwarding. So you need to use this in the sense that if you know that you want to jump forward to just around, let's say, bar 65, you're going to get near to bar 65, get right up on it, and then you can stop your transport using the artist transport controls and you can start your playback. But the good thing about this is that this way I can use the jog wheel to jump anywhere on my timeline and then press play. And that way I can jump around anywhere I'd like on my timeline and do that using the jog wheel. So this is a little more uh, natural for a lot of folks. This is kind of a Huey style jogging method, something we're used to in video editing and things like that. And maybe what you're used to is some of their hardware with Pro Tools. So this is the way that you can get around that. Now, again, like I say, you know, you are going to have to keep in mind that when you stop and let go of that wheel, the rewind function is going to keep going. So you just need to manually stop it. But this will let you get, you know, far down. If you have very large sessions that you work with very often, you can get through those sessions a little more easily as a result. So... That's just the quick way to do this, guys, and uh, I hope that you found it useful. Uh, experiment, as always, with U-Control because it is very powerful and offers you a lot of different options uh, to be able to take control of Pro Tools. 
So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here on this video. Get in touch with me on my email, brian at obedia.com. Find us on your favorite social media network. Or of course, better yet, give us a call at 323-319-4051 where you can work with us seven days a week one-on-one -on -one and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software will help you tame your technology that's what we do best here at obedia as always guys i'm brian with obedia i want to thank you for tuning in and until next time happy music making to you and take care mm -hmm.